kitchen. Hey guys, it's Emily and Matt. We recently purchased the teardrop camping trailer you see behind us from Timberleaf Camping Trailers out of Grand Junction, Colorado. Uh, we did a lot of research and watched a lot of YouTube videos before we made this purchase, so we figured uh, we would make a video and share it with anyone that might be interested in buying something similar. So do you want to tell them a little bit about why we chose this company? Yeah, the uh, well, in our six month search, the biggest factor was of course weight. We have a two door Jeep Wrangler JK and uh, we had tried a, a trailer that was 2000 pounds and it was just a little too much. It's also the max tow load for a JK. Um, but yeah, we found uh, Timberleaf in Colorado it was the only one that had everything we wanted with the galley, all the storage and all the extras and came in at, uh, I believe 970 dry. 970 pounds <laughs> so it's uh just the perfect mix of size and weight toes like a beaut and uh i think with the jeep we only lost about two to three miles per gallon um and sometimes it's even better so yeah yeah so we'll stop there and just show you show you the trailer all right so yeah a few things we love about this trailer reasons we chose it First off, comes with a max coupler, which is great for the Jeep and a lot of the forest roads and off-road trails we take. This allows it to articulate so it won't actually hop off the ball. So no more ball hitch. And you can actually change this out too, which is amazing. Uh, one thing we did add is actually a jack with a wheel, a huge wheel. So when we're up here in the woods, we can move it around pretty easy. One person can easily move this trailer. Uh, next up. We added the storage. We keep our propane tank in here, which we use for our gas fire pit when fires aren't allowed. That seems to be the trend these days. Um, so we're never without fire. Also, I uh, almost forgot to mention, the storage box is a great way to access the roof rack that was an extra option we're so happy we got this right now we mainly use it for our uh, canopy which comes in handy foul weather sun whatever but the beauty of this it will take I believe up to 500 pounds so you can use it to organize the roof rack or just get a nice view whatever it may be additionally the uh, fenders they just recently switched to the square fenders on the, the middle model uh, for the tire package. Same thing, you can stand up here, jump around, and uh, easy access to the rack, which will also hold up to 500 pounds. Um, another extra option, might as well just do it because you'll need it, we've used it every time we've camped, is the leveling jacks. And both these jacks in the back, will actually hold, I think, three times the weight of the trailer. So you can literally lift the axle off the ground to make sure you're level. So we love the galley in the back of the trailer. Um, you actually get to pick your, I don't know if this is like for mica or laminate, whatever it is. So um, it's all the really cool retro designs. We obviously went with the teal. Um, lots of storage in the back here. You can put stuff up here. You just don't want it to go too high. Just keep in mind where this closes. Um, extra storage down here. And then the battery access is just right through there. This is an extra that we added to have the pull out tray for a cooler. It's also um, wired so you can put a Dometic fridge in here, but this is super handy. We love this, um, just nice and easy. So uh, Lots of power options back here too. Again, if you're plugged into shore power, you can plug in just standard outlets. Um, this is USB. This is your standard nine volt. Uh, and then lights as well. So if you're cooking it at night, you're, you're set. Oh, well, hello there. So interior, things amazing, really comfortable. We, uh, we went with the thinner mattress, which is fine. Yeah, I think they have a six inch as well, but uh, does the job. But the huge feature in here, sunroof. 
it's amazing. You can actually close it as well, leave it open. We've had it open every time we've been yeah. camping. Not the window, the shade. <laughs> the window doesn't <laughs> yeah, open. The, it's just skylight, it's, it's not a sunroof. <laughs> skylight, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, all LED lighting in here. They have dim lights. You can also set it to a brighter light when you need more. We hardly use that. We just love the mood of the blue in here as well. All right, one of my favorite features is our Max Air fan. This thing is amazing. We've actually run it 24 hours consecutively on battery and not even come close to draining it. But uh, whenever we get to our camp spot, we just flip it on. It's pretty much all automated, it has 10 speeds. has 10 speeds, has a rain sensor, so if it does start to rain, it'll shut automatically. But we usually put it on 10% in the, in the evening and run it while we're sleeping. We hardly hear it, circulates the air, no moisture inside at all. Uh, yeah. So the number one question that we get asked when we're out and about is, can you fit in there? Uh, and yes, we fit in here completely comfortable. This is a full-size mattress. Um, I sleep like a baby every night. Uh, I think it's the looks are deceiving. It looks like it's much smaller than it is. It's so comfortable. Uh, and you can sit here and you just look at the stars. We've got the curtains for privacy. Uh, it's perfect for our needs. Hey everybody, so, oh my god, <laughs> that was a little too much. Cut. I, I, <laughs> we might have to put that in there. I was Literally, completely I just said that. not listening. I know.